Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about a video of a woman that was basically saying that other women are going to have to understand that they're going to have to share men. All right. Um, basically, in so many words, she was saying that there's a, a shortage on on men. You know, what I mean, on good men or black men or whatever. She's saying that there's a, a, a shortage, a shortage. All right. On them, you know. She said one uh, a certain percentage is in jail. The other percentage is a part of the alphabet group, and and then you got the rest. And she's like, "Hey, you gonna have to share." Basically, you know, a man's gonna have to be with more than one woman because women are <laughs> gonna have to get to a point where they got to accept that, and that's real because it's gonna get to a point where, you know, even when it, we're in the kingdom, our women are gonna be in their right mindset. Um. But uh, right now they're starting to come around to the point where they're realizing that, um, you know, they, they're going to have to accept the fact that they're going to have to be um, sharing a man. All right. And I've been seeing it a lot on social media. You know, of course, you see a lot of resistance. Chick saying, oh, I can't share my man or oh, I can't I can't do that. I'm not with that, blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> It's so many single chicks out here, man. They, they, they res what they're doing right now is they're saying, man, I, I don't need a man, blah, blah, blah. So they, what they do is they go to these these shops and they buy toys and things of that nature to get them, you know, saying over that uh, oh, over that hump of uh, being lonely. So now they didn't res the damn woman has resorted to toys to keep them. Um, to get them pleasure when a man's not there, all right. But then they be on the internet talking about other women not getting married, and you know they 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 had they have they'll be in a whole relationship, right? And they'll be like, "Well, he ain't put a ring on your finger," <laughs> and they single as hell. They ain't got no man. Which that whole marriage thing is just a scam, as far as like getting a ring, getting down on one knee, marrying having the state get involved in your marriage and you got to pay this amount and you got to pay this amount for a wedding and it's all madness that's all that's all that's all just world worldly because according to the bible sex is marriage right when when a man gets with a woman he has sex with her that's his wife sex is marriage according to the bible all right but You'll see what this woman uh, says right here is facts, and uh, I'm going to get some scriptures to go with it. Here's a little fun fact. Um, there are more women on this planet than men. Um, in the United States, we have about a quarter of our population in jail. Um, another quarter of our population identifies as LGBTQ. So with that being said, it is a nigga shortage out here. It is a shortage of available good niggas out here. So for all you bitches that think you deserve your own nigga, like your own personal nigga, like that's only yours. Like, okay, it's some women that do. But are you that bitch? Like, what do you bring to the table that make you think you deserve your own nigga and it's a nigga shortage? Sis, grow up. You got to share that nigga. That's our nigga. <laughs> so she, she let it be known, like, hey... You got to share, <laughs> but um, you know, it it just the vibration that's going around right now. You know, women are starting to realize that they're gonna have to um, be sister wives, or they're gonna have to share a, a guy. You know, and you know, it, it, that's just the way it's always been. It just ch changed when the world got westernized by their philosophy. 
of um, you know saying the Disney type of um, the Disney type of love of one man one woman you know you're Aladdin and she's Princess Jasmine type thing you know what I mean like they that's the vibe they were pushing but truthfully and um, women are gonna take hold of one man you know what I'm saying women are gonna uh, come in abundance all right to the elect all right and men are gonna be like King Solomon King King uh, David they're gonna have multiple wives all right and concubines which concubine is just a lower level wife all right so you know those days are, are coming this is Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name and take away our reproach. So you're going to get all these women who are going to take hold of one man. And seven is completion. So it could be an it could be seven, seven D, who knows? But in that day, w one woman shall take hold. Uh, seven women shall take hold of one man. All right. So you're gonna get that. You're getting that vibration now. That's put into the world in the end times, in the end of days, right now, where certain women are popping up with videos saying this, man. All right. You're getting that right now in that vibe. Because I be on social media and I see this. You know, I just take little, uh, little, little, uh, little notes in my brain. I'd be like, yep. Because through the spirit, I'd be like, yep. Mm hmm. And I see that. And then I see another video and another one. I'd be like, yep. That's the vibe. This is Isaiah 13 and 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So that's great gold. And a man's going to be more precious than that in that day because uh, a man's going to be very valuable because the man that he's talking about is a man of the elect of God, one of the 144,000. And just a man that the Lord may just have mercy upon. And he's dealing with him. All right. So the Lord is going to have his um, his chosen and they're going to be uh, special to him and he's going to protect them. And when you got a man that's being covered by Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, that's a man you want to be uh, close to in that day. All right. Because the Lord is going to protect his elect. All right. Um, this is uh, Isaiah 32 and 2. It says, A man shall be in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a man's going to be like a hiding place for for the wind or anything that comes against him. All right. So a woman is going to need a covering in that day because a woman is going to resort back to her natural use, which is to be a help to a man. Because right now women are boastful. In the way that society has uplifted them. You know, because everything that they have done. By disrespecting their men. By elevating themselves to the point where they can just talk crazy to men. Talk down to men. And then wonder why they're lonely. Wonder why they can't keep a man or, or have a man. You know what I mean? Like even they even got this system set up to where women try to get married to men. Just so that they can divorce them and get half of their money. It's crazy. Like, in this world does not benefit men. All right? That's why men are going to resort back to who they truly are and women also. The order is going to be set back in order. All right? But women are, certain women are preparing themselves to realize that they're, they're going to have to have uh, a man. And they're going to share a man also. I Meaning you're going to have a husband and you're going to have sister wives. And that's just what it is, man. Because that's the order of things. If a man wants to have more than one wife, then he, should, he, can, he can do that. That's scriptural. 
So with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai.